Welcome arithmetic ninjas to adding fractions with the same denominators. And this one's quite an easy one. It's when you've got different denominators, you've got to do a bit of extra work, but that's on a different video. So here we go. One fifth add one fifth. Now the unit we're dealing with is fifths. They're both in fifths. They have a common denominator. So it's like saying one apple add one apple, where the unit would be apples. One apple add one apple would be two apples. One orange add one orange would be two oranges. One helicopter add one helicopter would be two helicopters. So one fifth add one fifth is two fifths. The unit is fifths. Question number eight. We've got three tenths add five tenths. The unit we're dealing with is tenths. So our answer is going to be in the same unit of tenths as well. So three tenths add five tenths is like saying three baboons add five baboons. Three baboons and five baboons is eight baboons. Three monkeys add five monkeys is eight monkeys. So three tenths add five tenths. The unit is tenths, so that's going to be eight tenths. In year six, SATs, you would get the mark if you left it as eight tenths. But there is also an equivalent fraction. If you're going to simplify it, you might notice that both eight and ten are in the two times table. So if you divide them both by two, eight divided by two is four, ten divided by two is five. So you could put four fifths, four fifths or eight tenths. They're both equivalent fractions. Either would be acceptable in year six. In year seven, you'd be expected to simplify it to get four fifths. Number 12, three elevenths add four elevenths. Well, three crocodiles add four crocodiles would be seven crocodiles. So three elevenths add four elevenths would be seven elevenths because the unit we're dealing with is elevenths. Number 15, slightly trickier one. Six tenths add eight tenths. Well, we could do six Lego bricks add eight Lego bricks is 14 Lego bricks where the unit is Lego bricks. So six tenths add eight tenths is 14 tenths where the unit is tenths. Now that, you may notice, is an improper fraction. We can tell that because the number on top, 14, is bigger than the number underneath 10. Now in year 6, you can leave improper fractions as improper fractions. But if you want to go a stage further, you could turn it into a mixed number. To turn it into a mixed number, 14 tenths is the same as 14 divided by 10. Well, 14 divided by 10, how many 10s go into 14, is 1. 1 10 goes into 14 with 4 left over. So it's 1 remainder 4. But because we're dealing with tenths, that remainder is out of tenths as well. So it's 1 and 4 tenths. So the answer number 15, you could either do 14 tenths or 1 whole 1 and 4 tenths. They both mean the same thing. Number 21. We've got 10 ninths plus 8. 8 ninths. It's like saying 10 pirate ships plus 8 pirate ships is 18 pirate ships, where the unit is pirate ships. But we've got 10 ninths plus 8 ninths, so that is 18 ninths, where the unit is ninths. Now we've got a slight problem with this one. Because it is 18 ninths, 18 divided by 9 is actually exactly 2. 2 whole ones. And if the improper fraction works out as an exact whole number with nothing left over, in SATs you may lose a mark unless you convert it into that whole number. So 18 ninths, although it is technically right, they don't want to see you leaving it as 18 ninths because 18 ninths does work out to be exactly two whole ones. So a much better answer is two whole ones and you should really... Write that as your answer, otherwise you might lose the mark for 18 ninths. Now we've had a go at those questions, now it's your turn. So you have a go at the ones we've missed. Good luck.